السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا وسهلا مرحبا وكم جايز ما نبدأك الزمان تيجي معي فهم زفتي right so أهلا وسهلا welcome guys I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves having a fantastic Friday and as you guys know on Fridays we have live stream so let me just live stream it onto um, Instagram Okay, so Q and A, and A. All right, let's go. Okay, so, ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome, Hex Mangalin. I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. Waalaikum salam. I'm very good. Thank you very much. Hope you're well, Hex. Kazma Kaz. Waalaikum salam. Ahlan wa sahlan. Masira Ali. Waalaikum salam. Hamdulillah wa barakatuhu. I'm very good. Thank you very much, Masir, for asking. I hope you are well enjoying yourself in America. Is it permissible to say God save the king? Uh, well, it depends what you mean by it. Like, like, the question is, are you allowed to make dua for a non-Muslim? So Imam Nawi, rahimahullah, in his book Al-Azkar, he actually says, yes, you can, with the intention that Allah guides them. Then it's permissible. So if a person was to say, for example, like, um, may Allah... Uh, preserve you, keep you safe with the intention that Allah gives them longer life so they have hidayah, that's permissible. Arabia Muslim, alaykum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Kayf al hal, ahlan wa sahlan, ana bi khair, Arabia wa kayf anti. MashaAllah, yani al yom, yom, taqs jameel jiddan indana, illa anna hunaka al hawa, yani tahubu al hawa. Tanweer, wa alaikum as salam, have been struggling with dizziness every single Jum'ah Salah in the mosque. Is it permissible to pray seated on a chair? Yeah, if you find it very difficult, if you find nausea or you find uh, dizziness, uh, vertigo, whatever, uh, maybe you've got vertigo, check it out. Then it's possible. It, it may be permissible for you to sit down. Yeah, try standing up and if you're finding it difficult, then sit down. Wa alaikum as salam, Zainab, ahla wa sahlan, ahla wa sahlan, tafaddali, tafaddali. Muhammad Mullah, Emullah, Ahla wa Sahlan, Ahla wa Sahlan, my brother Emullah from another mother. What's happening, bro? What's happening? What's the latest? What's the latest with school? Have you kind of got into the, the, the school sort of like regime yet? Are you like the, the one that the students like? Yeah, like, you know, the kind of, usually in schools, students like the kind of, you know, the kind of like assistant, not the teachers, like chill that ones. Is it disrespectful to read the Quran whilst lying in bed with that headscarf on? No. No, it won't be disrespectful. Uh, because headscarf is not considered a condition for a woman reading the Quran. It's conditioned for Salat. So we don't make a comparison between the two. And lying down, as long as, like, lying down as long, because in the Quran Allah says, Those who remember Allah standing, sitting, and, and lying down. So therefore, lying down wouldn't be a problem. As long as you are not doing it deliberately out of disrespect, obviously. But then it's fine. Samu wa alaikum as salam. How can we retain more of what we read when reading history in particular? Um, so reading history, my advice would be to draw out a timeline. So let's say you get a big piece of paper, put it on the wall, or you can get one of these, um, you know, these, um, these ones that you, you, can, you can mark and wipe out, right? like these plastic sheets. They stick onto the wall through static electricity and then you just write on them. And then you make a timeline. So if it's history, I would definitely say timeline it. 100% timeline. And then secondly, you can probably like tag a lot of piece of information together. So lots of information, put them all together. If you want to use like a, like a, some sort of a um, tablet or something where you want to draw on there, that's also good as well. Yeah. Or you want to use cards, card method. Stickies, sticky, sticky, uh, what are they called? Uh, stickies, sticky ta tabs. That's fine as well. I don't know. Anyone else got any tips for Samo? Could waqadra thalathi asabil yad for masa of head mean the amount equivalent to three fingers, or does it have to mean three fingers taken all over the head? Uh, asking for when we do wudu in public. Yeah, so according to Abu Hanifa, rahimullah, three fingers meaning the size of three fingers, as long as the size of three fingers on your head you wiped. Yeah, so it doesn't have to be three fingers. Like if someone doesn't have fingers, then they can't do it, no. So 
basically the size of three fingers. So my fingers are this big. Yeah, my three fingers. So this size, there. Yeah. This is one of the calls of Abu Hanifa. Wa alaykum as Muhammad Fahim. Ahla wa sahidat al nahu or al or both. Hidat al nahu is an easy text. al is a bit more advanced. Uh, so both, I would say. Salam alaikum from Turkey today near Hagia Sophia. Ahla wa sahlan. Ahla wa sahlan. MashaAllah. I've never been to Turkey now. One day, inshallah, I will go to Turkey. Wa alaikum as in Saadiya. Wa alaikum as Sal. Sal's joined. Uh, can Hif Hafidha in routine of reciting two jewels, Hif has gone weak over years during period. Can she take Fatwa from Maliki? Possibly. Yeah, possibly. I wouldn't see a problem with that. أَطَالَ اللَّهُ فِي عُمْرِكَ يَا فَقِيْهِ Allahu Akbar And لست فقيه الآن ممكن ممكن في قبل أن أموت ممكن أصبح فقيها إن شاء الله لكن الآن يعني أنا ما زلت متعلما وشكرا وأطال الله بقاك أيضا هيدر علي وعليكم السلام My friend in sixth form has class from 12 to 4 on Friday which he is not allowed to get out What shall he do? Uh, so what are you asking? Are you asking about ظهر جمعة um, so has he tried to ask? Has he spoken to the teachers? Yeah, tell him to first of all speak to the teachers, put in a letter, and then after that, if they still refuse, uh, then you know, I'm sure they're gonna give him like five minutes or so to pray Zohar, ask on the side of the class or somewhere to pray Zohar. Does a woman who has her day to day normal white discharge have to read your wudu for every salah? So there's an ikhtilaf in the Hanafis. Ibn Abidin has mentioned ikhtilaf about this. One call attributed to Abu Hanifa says that it does not break wudu. And according to Sahibain, it does break wudu. What I would say is if a woman has it regularly, as long as it's not odor, uh, does not have a bad odor, it, as long as it does not, uh, you know, it's not from some sort of a, uh, sexual arousal, then it's okay. W- won't, b- won't break the wudu. But if a woman really gets it now and again, then she should repeat her wudu. ماذا يجب عن الإنسان فعله الخروج من فترة ال in al intikasa uh yani hada yani la 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 arif al hal lakin yani ana jarrabtu ana al insan idha kana ya'tad riyadha aw ya'tad mathalan shay basit jiddan aw mumkin aydan mumkin yani yafal hakadha kullama yash'ur bil intikasa fa yani mumkin yatahaddath ma ahad أو يمشي يعني خمسة دقائق عشر دقائق على الشارع أو في الحديقة هكذا يعني ممكن هكذا يعني أنا هكذا جربت مع نفسي لكن لا أدري ممكن غيري يعني جرب شيء آخر فلا أدري if there's anyone who can help إن شاء الله how do you understand things like working for the future and saving money for retirement and طول الأمل what I'm trying to understand is does the two things count as طول الأمل no now, the tool amal is where a person obviously does not have any trust in Allah. Yeah. And so, you know, like the hadith mentions, al uh, man dana nafsahu wa amila lima ba'd al maut. Kayis is the one that dana nafsahu. Has sort of taken himself to account and he works for the hereafter. So, you know, building up a retirement fund or, you know, building a portfolio of properties or whatever, there's nothing wrong with that at all. A person can do all of that. But as long as they don't compromise their values in Islam. Muhammad Mullah Ahla Wasala. So for my first day, I couldn't do anything because all the sisters would anna lillah. They couldn't even issue me with a staff ID to make matters worse. I got COVID the same day and got it and gave it to my God. Inna lillah. So are you, have you still got it then? Or has it cleared up? Like how do you balance living in Okay, Has, uh, Hassan, ahla wa sahlan, wa alaykum salam pray you are well. Is money made from renting a property on mortgage a haram income? No, it's not haram income. So size three fingers is normally less than a quarter of the head, yes. So Abu Hanif has two calls regarding uh, the, the, the muscle of the head. One is a quarter of the head. Quarter of the head is basically, when you look at me, what do you see? So what the part you see, that's quarter. And if you look this way, what part do you see? That's quarter. And this way, quarter. That's what quarter basically refers to. Uh, but three fingers is just three fingers. It's less. What's the photo position for the amount of fingers we use when doing masa on the head? Is using one finger permissible? So if you use one finger, but you drag it such that you cover the, the amount of the fard, then that's permissible. 
Sheikh, uh, you will love Istanbul, inshallah. Inshallah, Zakhla Khair. Alaikum assalam, Sahiba. Any tafsir written to deal with the modern ideologies? Um, I don't think there's a tafsir written to deal with modern ideologies, but some like modern tafsirs, if you read them, they have sort of uh, dealt with certain problematic issues that have, have risen. For example, Ruh al-Ma'ani deals with some issues and uh, tafsir Sha'rawi, which is not really an academic tafsir. Uh, tafsir Sha'rawi, tafsir Tahrir wa Tanweer. Yeah, they deal with some some like modern sort of like issues that were raised. Um, besides that, I mean, you won't find modern issues being tackled in tafsir. You'll find them more tackled in books that are dedicated to that topic. Uh, Haider Ali about Juma 12 for he can pray Zuhur, but Juma will not be an option. Yeah, so in that case, he'll have to pray Zuhur. So to clarify, can I put my three fingers under my tied scarf and the back touch once and done? Yes, I wouldn't see a problem with that. What's the man's aura? Some say between the knee and the navel, some say they're included. What about uh, what opinion is most authentic position? Uh, so there's ikhtilaf in this. The Hanafi say it's including the knees, right? So basically, this including the knee, right, all the way up to belly button, but the belly button is not part of it. So uh, the area around the belly button that is not part of the aura, according to Hanafis. Shafi say the other way around. They say the belly button is, but the knee caps are not. The knee caps can be shown. Muhammad Mullah still got it, unfortunately, but Alhamdulillah getting better. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, I'll give you shifa. So you're at home now, yeah? Just like resting, relaxing. Danish, wa alaikum as -salam. If someone has broken many oaths and has forgotten uh, some of them, can his kafara near be a general, general giving or does he have to specify? Remember, just general giving. From where do to get all the hadith on Al Barzakh? Um, so there are actually books that are written on this. So I don't know if you know Arabic or not. Uh, but there's a book by Imam Qurtubi called Tadhkiratul Akhirah. Tadhkiratul Akhirah. So that has some narrations in there as well. And the main place that you're going to find them is the books of Aqidah that are chapter dedicated to the Barzakh. So like the commentaries of, uh, for instance, uh, Aqidah Hawiya. Yeah, they have them. Amina, wa alaikum as -salam. If I'm not sure if I'm imagining this, but I think I heard someone that men can look at the hair of non-Muslim women without being sinful. If true, then does that mean we can also look at the size of non-Muslim men? Um, so, good question. So, the Hanafis, some of the Hanafis have mentioned this, that they're looking at the non-Muslim women. Uh, it would be permissible as long as there is no shahwa, as long as there's no lust. You're not looking at it lustfully. If it's lustfully, then you're not allowed to look at it. However, the, the aura of the thighs is different from the aura of the hair. The aura of the thighs is considered to be a more severe aura for both men and for women as well. So this is why that would not be the same ruling. Yeah, that would not be the same ruling. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You are looking well. Alhamdulillah, Abdullah Sharif. Long time no, my brother. Long time no, see, no, here. I hope you're well. I hope you're enjoying yourself. What's the latest, Abdullah? Uh, size of non-Muslim, yes, it's the same. Yeah, it would be the same. Jazakallah khair. If someone bought a house on mortgage before knowing it was haram, does uh, he have to sell his house and pay? No, he doesn't have to. What's the best way to make up prayers? Is it mandatory to make up prayers from years ago? Yes. Best way to make them up, I would say, is with every prayer you pray. Pray one qadha. When memorizing Quran, should we also memorize the end and diacritical mark or is it not necessary? No, not necessary. Okay. How do people, Madrasa, do in Pakistan? So you're talking about right at the end of the verse where you stop. Like, for example, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٌ Do you have to memorize قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٌ Is that what you're saying? But no, you don't have to memorize the last haraka, basically. You can just stop had. That's sufficient. How did they do it in Pakistan? I don't know. I I, 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 I mean, I did a bit of hivs in Pakistan, uh, but I never heard anyone saying that you have to memorize the last harakah or not. Can you lie when joking? For example, let's say I had a friend who has a Ferrari and I said to him, my car is better even though it's not, uh, and we both know it's a joke. Yeah, that would have come under lie. So, for example, you know, a lie is something when a person is, is clearly saying something uh, which is to mislead the other person. Yeah. And this obviously is a joke. So, you know, there's like, this comes under what you call tawriya. So you're saying something which is like a, 
Like so you can stretch it. It's not like deceiving someone. Uh, protein shake. Time management tips. Do you balance with... Okay, actually, time management. Let me tell you something, guys. I've got a new book. Mashallah. Ahsan. Jazakallah khair. Forgive me the book. Uh, Brother Ahsan, who uh, is one of my uh, students, he gave me a book. It's called Deep Work. Yeah, Deep Work. Actually, I was going to show you it, but I'll show you guys tomorrow, inshallah. So Deep Work is all... I'm, I'm, I've been going through it. Um, I've gone through about... I think about maybe uh, a quarter of it so far. Very, very good. Like It really gives you an insight into how distracted you can become when doing work. So things like, for example, ha checking your WhatsApp all the time, checking emails, um, and how to, do, how to develop deep work. And that's a problem nowadays, especially with social media. He's, he, he, he's, uh, he's mentioning that, um, that, you know, that uh, when it comes to, when it comes to, um, what do you call it? When it comes to like uh, like some people who want to do hard work. So he's saying basically, he goes, in today's times, he goes, if you really want success in today's times, you need to do, you, you need to, you need to master something that's very hard and you need to try and produce at an elite level. And he says, like, if you look at all these companies and you look at all these kind of products that are being made nowadays, there's a lot of people who are coming out with rubbish things and not really successful. But the really, really good ones, like Amazon and all these, hard work went into it, and they're producing the eleven. The distractions they they have to omit um, uh, all the distractions. They have to remove all the distractions. So he's saying that your brain. What happens is when you have a distraction, your brain can't absorb what you're doing. Like can't really get into it and unlock like these levels inside your inside your concentration. And unfortunately, social media. What social media does is it it kind of like stunts this ability to open up your mind so you just have this short span short span and you can't really absorb too much and you can't really like, do a lot of work so this is this is a really good book so far inshallah and read more of it i'll tell you more of what i read and uh yeah so uh, at the moment i'm just reading about this um uh, this uh, professor in this university who actually used to like produce a phenomenal number of of works in in, in the year like i was saying about six or seven papers a year, which is supposed to be really, really, really difficult to do and write books as well. And he's got like 60 book, sixty papers to his name. Uh, and he's saying that the main thing that he does is he has to have focus time. Yeah, so I think that's that, that book, Deep Work is called, very good. It's written by Nat. The, the author's name is Nat something. I don't know, it begins to see Nat, N-A-T. Yeah, you, you can find it. You can find audio book of it as well. Uh, in Islam, is reading Quran is very important for us. Actually, I can't read Arabic, but very night I listen to Quran. Mashallah. Ahsan wa ahlan wa sahlan sahiba. May Allah put barakah in that time and allow you to be able to learn how to read the Quran. Uh, oh, so it's only sinful to lie when joking. So, it's a, it's technically that's not called a lie. Like it doesn't come under the definition of lie because a lie would be telling something which is not the reality to someone else in order to deceive them. Yeah. So, for example, let's say you came out with a fictitious story. Like you want to explain something to the class. So you come out with a hypothetical story. The hypothetical story doesn't exist. Um, so it's, it's you know, it's, it's not really a lie. It doesn't come under a lie for that. But however, the Prophet Sassam did say that like, like joking around and then trying to get laughs, like trying to get people to laugh at you by lying in there. That's wrong. I mean, what you explained there, I would say that wouldn't come under a lie. If Zor Jamaat at the mosque and I see someone there and he has prayed with the Jamaat, can I ask him to pray behind me? Yes. Uh, Sheikh, how does one know if uh, one is truly qualified to teach the deen of Allah? Are your, are your teachers happy with you? That's the main thing. If your teachers are happy with you, then that's a sign that, inshallah, you're ready to teach. Yeah, so it's all about, you know, whether your teachers, experts are happy with you. That's what I would say is the ultimate measure. Uh, besides that, I mean, I don't, I don't, I mean, like, if you can maybe, I don't know, how to teach. Um, I mean, I, I, hopefully I'm going to do a video on this of when do I consider someone to be a scholar? 
Like when do I consider someone to have the ability to call themselves a scholar? Like what 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 does that person have to know or to be able to do, etc.? I hope we make a video on that. Actually, let me just write it down just so that I remember this. When a person can call a scholar. Yeah, so that, that would be one. But generally, I mean, to answer your question, I would say as long as your teachers are happy with you, that this person, uh, you know, does this, uh, and they say, look, this, I'm happy with how they, they understood the book and the questions they ask, then yeah. That's what we call ijazah, isn't it? Ijazah. Uh, on uh, Ahla was Sahlan on uh, Instagram. Ahla was Sahlan. Welcome, welcome, all of you. Ahla was Sahlan. Welcome. Okay, Hosefa, which haircuts are disallowed? Any haircut that resembles another religion is not allowed. Can a person study the Hanafi Madhab but is a Maliki themselves? Yes, of course. Is namaz necessary to repeat if your trousers are below your ankles? No. The Salat will be valid. Okay. Oh, actually, it's good. On Instagram, you can ask questions and have it in private. Okay, mashallah. So, Instagram, you guys got a... Uh, can we char change the niya of a Sunnah prayer from two rakats to four? Uh, yes. You can do that. I thought his name was ja Cal, Cal Newport. Yes, that's the one. Cal Newport. Yeah, I think what am I was thinking. Yeah, Cal Newport, isn't it? What am I thinking? Yeah, my memory loss. Cal Newport, that's the one. My wife listened to your response on time management saying she has been telling me to stop being distracted. I'll take your YouTube account on the day of judgment for creating this fight. <laughs> if you can find me. <laughs> Are we sinful if we post a Quran video with transliteration as in Alhamdulillah and not Alhamdulillah? No, it's fine. Salam alaikum Yasin Ahlul Wasan. Hope you're well. What's the plans with Qasas al Nabi series? Inshallah, I will be carrying it on. Yeah, I'll try to post one video on. So this is for 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 my uh, uh, patrons. I'd like to say my po proteins for my proteins <laughs> for my patrons. Inshallah, I will uh, I will uh, hopefully do like one a week. I'll see how it goes. Uh, because a lot of people have been asking me about this, and I think I know it's a, like a very well-known text in madrasas. So a lot of students uh, have been asking about this. So inshallah, I will do that. How are you finding it so far, Yasin? I mean, uh, what would the term scholar imply in the traditional sense? An alim or a mufti? So a mufti is someone who's specially trained in answering fiqh questions. That's what the term mufti is. And an alim would generally be someone who is knowledgeable about a certain topic. So tafsir or hadith or Quran, something like that. Takhassus fil jim. Wa alaikum as salam. Ala wa sahlan umran sahib. Kya hal hai? Edrabad lokum mera salam poncha wai. If you find teacher school better than the one you are in currently at, how do you go about changing school teachers without being guilt tripped? Uh, this is a hard one, this is. I would say what you do is speak to one of the teachers, tell them how you feel and say uh, in a nice way that, you know, you know, if you can speak to them, that you would like to go to a different place. Um, and if they if they understanding, inshallah, it should be fine. If you think that they, they're going to cause you problems, then don't not necessarily tell them. Just say, look, off of particular reasons, I won't be able to continue here. And, and then you don't have to tell them where you're going to go. <laughs> I remember once in Madrasa, uh, some teacher, uh, there was a teacher passed away. I mean, like he's shaheed now. Oh, he's you know, died in a plane crash. Um, he actually was upset with me because I did iftar in a different madrasa, and he was upset with me that you know, but I wasn't really. I didn't kind of not do the madrasa iftar because I didn't like you or anything. It was just that the one that I was going to do it with was my one of my closest teachers, so I benefited a lot from him. Yeah, and the teacher was upset with me for a very long time. Uh, this is especially uh, relevant in Adukun. I'm following your Quduri videos, but my Quduri book is not Maktal Bushra. Shall I get the one that you're using or shall I stick to my own? Yeah, stick to your own one. As long as you know where the text is, it should be most of it should be the same. Uh, I want to do Takhasus. <laughs> That's only in Hyderabad, way. Only Hyderabad does uh, Takhasus Phil Gyms. Yeah. Takhasus Phil Gym. Alif, ba, ta, tha, jim. 
ما رايك في تقدم اليساري خطبه الرجال لخطبه الرجال ما لا باس به به نعم يعني هناك كان في زمن الصحابه من هو خير منا التي يعني قد يعني قدمت انفسهن للزواج نعم الحمد لله هذا جوينج ويل فاند ا نيو اديشن اوف قدوري هي حواشي فروم امام ميدان اللباب اه ما شاء الله واه 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 ساندي فور احسن مسال هل يمكن نساء ممارسه الرياضه في النوادي المخصصه لها نعم يعني ما دامت هي يعني لا يعني لابسه ملابس يعني مناسبه لهذا وليس هناك يعني اثاره للفتنه او تبرج لا باس به ان شاء الله محمد وعليكم السلام بي ويل انا وسال الحمد لله اتس نايس ماي عربي جاني از اراوند 6 تو 8 مانث اوف عربيه بين يديك اي نوت ريلي دن تركيب بس ام يوزينج يوتيوب بلاي ليست Just go through Ahlam wa Sahlam, Ahlam wa Sahlam. Inshallah, you're going you're gonna to find it good. Okay, so let's check out here on Insta. Okay, Insta saying, okay. Mahatu Sayyid, can you explain to me the meaning of these two words? Surur with a seen you mean. I think you mean with a seen. Yeah, surur with a seen. Seen, surur means happiness. Sa'ada, it's like a type of happiness, but it's more like... Uh, we call it felicity like a sense of 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 ecstasy happiness in that sense we call that saada when you reach your ultimate goal you kind of been successful and surur is sarra yeah yeah something where it's like happiness but it's a more subtle type of happiness i've completed fikr muyassar with my teacher up until soum A lot of what you're doing on Kuduri is similar. Shall I skip the song in your videos and go back? Yeah, you can skip them. Yeah, you can skip them. Is the interest you pay if you choose to pay insurance monthly Islamically considered to be a riba? I remember the IFG, not everything called interest. Uh, how does it work? So in the monthly one, I mean, I don't pay my insurance monthly. I pay it yearly. So how does the monthly one work? There are harms, potential things to look for when studying uh, from a researcher, Muhaqqiq. I've heard things about certain ulama advising not to take from researchers. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, taking from people who who are basically, um, you don't know anything about them. You don't know their background. You don't know their qualification. You don't know what kind of like mindset they're, they're from or influenced by. Uh, therefore, you got to be careful about these. I would only say, only read from like... these kind of like soul researchers loan researchers once you've studied a lot and you're firm in a subject that you're you're studying so if for example like it's fiqh once you've studied a sufficient amount of fiqh then go and dip into their works that way you'll, you'll understand where you stand and then you'll know what contribution they're making whether that contribution is a valid contribution or not yeah i would say i i think people who are studying in the first four or five years shouldn't shouldn't start reading loan researchers no they shouldn't yeah it's it's it's, it's quite um, detrimental to their development uh, you sha sayyid at tamthil in ma yusar alayhi lima fihi min kashf al ma'na al ghamid wa raf al hijab an al gharad al matlub fa laysa al azam al haqara fi al madrub bihi al mathal illa amr tastad'ihi al mutmathil taking from true ulama Yes, two of them are meaning those who are well established in the community and people can vouch for them. Those kind of one. Uh, Salam alaikum, Zob ahla wa sahlan. Is it wajib for men to expose ankles? Uh, no, it's not. Is it recommended to look straight ahead during takbir al tahrima? No, it's not. Is it wajib to sit and drink? No, it's not. Uh, في نظرك ما ما الأفضل تلقي العلم من العلماء مباشرة وعلى مواقع التواصل الاجتماعي؟ نعم يعني الأفضل أن يعني يتلقى الإنسان العلم من العلماء مباشرة نعم uh, لكن إذا إذا لم يتيسر هذا لأحد فطبعا يجوز له أن يتلقى العلم بطريقة ال ال التواصل الاجتماعي لكن إذا كان يعني أخذ بأصورة ثانية فينبغي أن يكون له علاقة مع الأستاذ يعني يسأل أسئلة ويصحح بعض المفاهيم التي عنده عنده نعم ممكن يعني يرسل له رسالة هكذا هكذا أنا فهمت ما يعني درسته نعم 
Uh, does writing about the difference between uh, Samarkand and Iraqi Hanafis count as useful ilm or good research? For now, I don't think it'd be good for you for now. For now, for you, you should be confirming your fiqh and your usul and then start reading those on the side. Yeah, with your teacher's advice, I would say. So whose talk do you enjoy listening to? Uh, I don't know, you know. I don't like regularly listen to a specific scholar. I find more, like... Um, more benefit in reading, listening to the Quran. If I listen to the Quran, I probably get more benefit than listening to a scholar. But if I do listen to a scholar, I might listen to different scholars. Sometimes I listen to Sheikh uh, Abdul Hakim Murad. Sometimes I might listen to some scholars, maybe, I don't know, in the Indian subcontinent. Maybe sometimes I listen to some scholars, um, uh, you know, a podcast or something here and there. So I won't really kind of listen to a talk. I won't like subscribe to a particular talk. That I'll regularly listen to. Ah, oh, yeah. Sometimes I listen to Sheikh uh, um, Sheikh uh, Hamza Karamali. Yeah. So Sheikh Hamza Karamali is um, like Ilm al Kalam. They're not really talks. They're really durus, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, Sheikh, uh, what does mutamathal lahu and yusaru ilayhi? Okay. So at tamthil, I just quickly translate this. At tamthil, in the yusaru ilayhi, tamthil, if I'm correct, understand correctly, is uh, like giving some sort of a analogy, yeah, giving some sort of a similarity, analogy, illustration. Yusaru uh, ilayhi, like this thing is gone towards, like people go towards this thing, they they utilize this. Lima fihim in kashfil ma'an al ghamith, because in it there's the ability to be able to remove the 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 the, the obscure hidden meaning. Waraf al hijab and removal of any veils and al gharad from the from the desired purpose. فَلَيْسَ الْعَظَمْ وَالْحَقَارَ فِي الْمَضْرُوبِ بِهِ الْمَثَلِ إِلَّا أَمْرًا تَسْتَعِيحَ لَمُتَمَثَّلُ يُسَعَهُ مُتَمَثَّلُ Yeah, so I, I, I don't know the context of, uh, is he talking about some verse of the Quran? فَلَيْسَ الْعَظَمْ So is he talking about عظم, some bone? وَالْحَقَارَ uh, And uh, humiliation فِي الْمَضْرُوبِ بِهِ الْمَثَلِ In the example that's been given. إِلَّا أَمْرًا Except for an example, tested ihi, which is necessitated because of the hal, the condition of the one for whom an example is being given. So basically, what it means is there's something you're giving an example of. Let's say you're giving an example of uh, of light and darkness, yeah, uh, guidance and misguidance. You want to give an example of that to clarify. So he's saying basically examples they elaborate to the listener the thing that you're trying to talk about, the abstract concept you're trying to talk about. It gives it more depth. So you understand the whole purpose for why this example was brought. If you pay your car insurance monthly, you probably be asked to pay initial deposit. This is usually around 20% of the total. Uh, if you, for my insurance, they say 800 pounds. If I pay yearly or 810 broke down into 12 installments. If I pay monthly, they say 10 pounds extra is interest. Ah, I see. So that's, that's fine then. That's not interest in the sense that that's not like a riba interest. Yeah, that, that would be fine because that's just the term interest they use to mean more than the original price that they told you. It's like the extra that you'll be charged. So that wouldn't fall in the interest. We're in kitab or ijara, but in order to complete kuduri, we have to increase our speed. Oh, yeah. Actually, on my uruk.com, I've done kitab ijara, all these chapters. Share, can we do masa over normal socks? Um, so the rule basically is as long as the sock you can wear the sock and you can walk in it for three miles without it tearing easily and it doesn't easily absorb water, then it's fine. So, Zainab, that's the way to do it. You're going to have to test it and let me know. Yeah, what I would suggest is wear them, go to some like park where there's like a gravel a gravel uh, track and just walk on there for three miles and then just take a picture of it and uh, show me the picture. You'll pay next, you'll pay back the rest of, over the next 10 or 11 months, your insurance provider will divide the total. Yeah, so like I answered haters. Uh, I get confused when there is harf jar, jar after maf'ul bihi, especially when sometimes, yeah, I know in Arabic that happens. So in Arabic, you are going to get confused. With like Even I used to get confused in the beginning. Like, I'll give you an example, okay. So for instance, like, um, so let's say, for example, I have tea, okay, yeah. Uh, I have tea. So I would call this tea mashroob. Yeah, mashroob. Let's say I'm drinking this tea, 
because of Zaid. Zaid has made this tea for me and I'm drinking because of him. I would say this is the mashroob lahu. Yeah, mashroob lahu. It's, it's, it's drunk because of him. Like Because of him, I'm drinking it. Um, and if it's, for example, I'm talking about, let's say, I don't know, I'm eating biscuits with the tea. I would say that the the, the biscuits would be mashroob bihi. Yeah. Um, so it's basically like kind of like playing around with with several words, but you're trying to use a harf for jars to do this. Yeah. Uh, taken from compare market are contracts over phone val over the phone valid? Yes, over the phone contracts are valid as long as the often acceptance is understood. There is there a, is there a money a money that is dry? If there's money that is dry on something and it touches you, uh, you must wash the area on your body it touched. Uh, is that the question? If that's the question, yes. If it's dry, you don't have to wash because it's not transferred. The concept of transferal is different. So if someone has money on their on their, on their, on their clothing underwear and it's dried and even if it touches their skin, then it's fine because it's not transferring. When you're in an Arab country, do you speak with the people in Fusha? How uh, I try to speak Fusha with a bit of their own sort of like. <laughs> obviously, they can tell it's like someone coming to England and speaking like, you know, posh Queen English. I'm going at a pace in your Kuduri. If I finish, shall I carry on with Sheikh Faraz Rabbani who covers the entire book? Yes. Yeah. Follow him, inshallah. Sheikh Faraz's class is really good. Yeah, definitely, Masha. He's got so much work he's done, alhamdulillah. And it's all free of charge. Uh, talking about when Allah gives parables. Ah, I see. Salat is the zakat of time. Yes, that's a, that's, that sounds like a Abdul Hakim Murad statement. Masir Ali, you should definitely study with Sheikh Faraz. He really knows his stuff. Yeah, definitely, mashallah. He's very capable. Do you want Ali? You like Do you want Ali? Yeah, mashallah. Do you want Ali? Is so nice. I mean, much better than um, like Diwan Shafi. It's more. It's, it's deeper. You can feel it. Imam Shafi is one like a like a like a passing sort of like a piece of advice. But Imam Ali radiallahu anhu is like deep. If a person prays nafal behind me and I'm praying my fard, will I get twenty seven times reward? I don't know. Sorry for many questions in Ramadan. Is it okay to finish the rawi at the end of a juz? Where the ruku doesn't end at the end of just e.g. end of fifteen surah kahaf meaning yes it's fine. Uh, you can get waterproof socks. I use them very good. Um, if I put three layers, uh, yeah, our teacher also said that saying the monthly installments and the interest is just in, it's just it's just them saying if you buy it now I'm giving you yeah. If I put three layers of cotton socks, do you think it will be okay for masa? No. No. So basically, you can't have, unless they're stitched together, you can't have multiple layers. They have to be stuck together. Is there a way to identify the different uses for ma, like if it was for Mosul or negation, or I still get confused. Recently, I saw Ba'da ma. And was wondering what the ma was doing like for like 10 minutes. Yeah. So, yeah. So, sometimes you can tell. For example, if it comes before, uh, if it comes after ma, it usually comes for the meaning of mustariya. Yeah. Uh, and uh, if it comes before a fi'l, in a lot of cases, it comes for mosul. Yeah. Sorry, if it comes after a fi'l, it comes for mosul in the most cases. If it comes at the beginning of a sentence, it usually comes as a question. Does brother Yusha mean maf'ul ghayr sarih or a word like dhuhiba bihi as because it's lazim, it's not made directly much hul. Yeah, possibly that. English speaking students have such an edge due to seekers guidance. Yeah, definitely. MashaAllah. You know, we need a lot more platforms like seekers guidance where they can provide a good content to the public. Okay, how do I start learning from videos posted in your channel from where to begin? I have basic knowledge in Arabic. So what I would suggest is start from Al Ajurumia. So go to the Ajurumia series and inshallah watch that. That would be a very good place to actually start from. Anyway, live stream Instagram folks, I will be going off now. So uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and uh, enjoy. I will see you guys next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
Okay, I've gone off that. Nice tree. Okay, so anyway, that's done. Let's go back to you guys. Uh, Yusha, how do I get good at this concept with ism maf'ul and harf jar after it? Is there some technique and exercise like mutamassal lahu? Means, yeah, so, you know, this kind of like language, it's, it's not a classical language. That's what one of my teachers used to say. He said, this is because of, like, after, you can imagine, after like the 400s and 500s, they began to use this kind of language. It's a very sort of like, like logical way of saying something. For example, like, um, ta'am, classical, classical Arabic would say ta'am. Later Arabic would say mat'um. Yeah, mat'um. This is the mat'um. Yeah. The easiest way to kind of figure it out is try to understand how do you say that thing in the non majhul state? Yeah, the non majhul state. For example, like, uh, let's say, talabtu al-ilma lillah. Talabtu al-ilma lillah. I sought knowledge for Allah. Now, how would you put that into an isa maf'ul? Knowledge, yeah, knowledge is the matloob and Allah is the matloob lahu. Yeah, so, talabtu al-ilma lillah. So, knowledge is the matloob, the thing that is sought, and the thing for whom it's sought is the matloob lahu, the one for whom it's sought. Or let's say, for example, you say, um, I don't know, uh, the, the 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 car let's say the car for example yeah so a car is a obviously sayara so you say suktu uh, as sayara yeah suktu as sayara ila al masjid so what's the car then that's the masuk that's the masuk what's the masjid the masuk ilayhi the masuk ilayhi so you see try to get it in the active form and then try to figure out how you would replace those words with the isma maf'ul, and then you'll figure out which one has the harf jar with it. So that's why maf'ul bihi, maf'ul bihi, uh, that's how it works. Yeah, maf'ul bil fi'l, maf'ul bihi is like the maf'ul of the fi'l. Okay. Okay, let's just check out Amran's. Oh, mashallah. Yeah, quite nice. Isn't this a Mukta Bushra? It looks like a Mukta Bushra print. Oh, is it, have they copied? The problem with the India and Pakistan is they copy each other too much. There's too much uh, plagiarism taking place. So basically what they'll do is they'll get like a, a book and maybe just like copy each other of how they lay it out. So I don't know. Is it original or is it there? Looks good. Looks really good. Um, I'm not getting good at Sul Fiqh is quite necessary in this age, definitely. Irfan Suhail, Assalamu Alaikum. Is the first 10 ayahs of Surah Kahf to read in the Jummah okay? Yes, inshallah. Madrub bihil mathal, the example is given because of it, or the example is of it. So basically, um, Madrub bihi al mathal. So if I'm, let's say, I want to give the, I want to talk about knowledge and ignorance and i want to give an example this example is the madrub yeah and that knowledge and ignorance is the madrub bihi does that make sense so in other words if i say to you for example explain to me the concept of um the concept of hard work hard work is the madrub bihi and the example that i'm going to bring to you the thing that i'm going to sort of illustrate the illustration i'm going to present that's the madrub. It's cheap and available, yeah? Yeah, that's true. Because I remember in Pakistan, the big thing they used to do in Pakistan, these, these bookstores, they used to get Beirut books, which were quite expensive. They would reprint them identically, and they wouldn't even say that they got it from them. And then in Pakistan, no one's going to really kind of... Uh, you know, sue anyone. So it would be very cheap as well. It's like a fraction of the original price of the books. Paper quality obviously was wasn't all that. Uh brother Yusha, uh practice Turkey with the teacher, it really helps. Definitely I agree with that. Jazakallah khair, Arabia. 
So about that research question, what level in fiqh and usul fiqh should I reach before getting into research? I would say as long as you have studied like hidayah fully, yeah, and as long as you have read up to like Nur Anwar, finished Nur Anwar, uh, then I think you should be fine. I have a teacher, it's just this concept doesn't really get uh, addressed in my ulum. I think the concept is called Naib Fa'il Ghair Sarih. Yeah, Naib Fa'il Ghair Sarih. Are contracts over the phone valid? Yes, contracts are valid. You can do them over the phone or you can do them face to face. Uh, okay, the ta'alilat of sarf are still whooping me. <laughs> yeah, check out the understanding sarf, bro. I think this edition is original and the paper quality binding, etc. And my fig teacher recommended it. He's gonna get one for himself too. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, if there are copies books available in PDF, are we okay to use? Yes, you can use them, but the prohibition would be something like printing them out and then going selling them. Yeah, that would be like wrong. So is nikah over the phone valid? No. So nikah is different from bait. Yeah. So nikah, because in nikah, there has to be sama or shahada. There has to be hearing of witness. In bait, you don't need witness. So because there has to be sama of shahada, that has to take place in a place where there can be no confusion. So over the phone, there can be an element of confusion of who these people are. That's why a lot of scholars in today's time, they don't allow the nikah over the phone because of the sama. So the, the way to resolve this would be, so let's say, for example, I am getting married to um, uh, Fatima. So what I do over the phone, I say to Fatima, okay, Fatima, you contact Muhammad over the phone and, and you become his his uh, his representative. Yeah, so Muhammad, you're going to become her representative. And then I say to Muhammad, Muhammad, uh, you know, I am proposing to Fatima and then you say she is accepted. And then the witness here, both of us, that is considered to be valid. Yeah. Um, okay, so... Does Yusaru Ilayhi work the same way as Maful Bihi? Yes. That's it. Like For example, I say this. Sara Zaid Ila Ila Al-Madrasa. Sara Zaid Ila Al-Madrasa. Yeah. So therefore, the Madrasa will be the Musar Ilayhi. That's the thing you saw it like. The madrasa is that you saw it like. And the Zaid is the Musar. Does that make sense? Like if you say, you can say the same with the Safara. Safara Zaid ila Amrika. So Amrika would be the what? Musafar ilay. Musafar ilay. And Zaid would be the Musafir, obviously. Uh, Jazakallah khair for all the time and you're welcome. You're welcome. Ahla wa sahla. Remember guys, if you guys have any questions or anything that you can ask your question, curious cat, inshallah. If I get time, I'll try to answer them. Um, and uh, I do apologize if I can't answer you know, too many questions on curious cat because sometimes I get to so busy. Deep work, that deep work says you shouldn't answer emails straight away. You should have a time for emails and you answer them and then you look at them but you don't answer them. So I think I might... <laughs> <laughs> I might be applying that. That leader that sort of gave me pizza. Not in love. So how do we? How do we? How do you recover, bro? How do you recover? They flew over my head. I need actual practice exercise. Yes, definitely. Yeah, exercises are all. Sometimes we have to lie not to cheat someone, but to get the work done or get some repair. <laughs> I know what you're saying. You know what? Uh, you know, technically, it, it doesn't settle with me. I know what you're saying. Like, you know, sometimes with some people, you need to exaggerate something. You need to kind of like blag it, like they say. Uh, technically, that's wrong, that is. What is allowed is what they call tawriya. Tawriya is like, you're not really kind of explicitly lying, but you're kind of like, you're not, you're, you're stretching the truth a bit. Yeah. So that there's permissibility of that, but not lying. I mean, I wouldn't feel comfortable lying because... Even if it's a small lie, a lie is still a lie. You, you're still going to become addicted to it. Yeah, you're, you're going to become desensitized to the whole concept of lying. I asked Dr. Shadi Masri, I think the market position is that isn't the medium, but the vagueness. So doing a video conference or Skype for is very kind to them. Uh, yes, makes sense for them. So any possibility for exercises, exercises course on it? 
actually a good idea. And I might do like these kind of like uh, one minute surf breakdown. That's a good idea. Actually, let me just write that down. One minute surf. One minute surf. I've still got to finish load the other one minutes. Thank you for answering all the our questions. Oh, yeah. Where's my grasshoppers? Where do, where do, oh, my grasshoppers are here. Shall I eat some grasshoppers, guys? Would you like to see me eat grasshoppers? Um, Muhammad, what if the book says no copy may be made electronically or other without explicit permission? Is the PDF still allowed? So again, this is like, like someone says, no one is allowed to look at my face and tell other people what I look like. Like, you can't put a law, law on that. You can't like, you can't hold someone responsible for that. So like there are certain things that can't come under a specific law. So that's why here the problem with copyright is, like even in today's time, copyright is a big problem. Patenting something, patenting is a big problem because there's a lot, a lot of patenting things um, harm other people. Like for example, in America, you know, the patenting of, um, of um, insulin, right? Apparently there's like only three companies in the world that have the patent. And no one else can make it. So they deliberately make it expensive. And it can really be made as a fraction of the price. But because of the patent, you can't do it. So so it's, it's, it's all like kind of like, you know, you look at the situation, I would say. So I personally would say that reading the book PDF would be fine. But then, um, you know, selling it on would not be allowed. If a husband says to his wife, I divorce you, does it count? Uh, does it count? Does it count? Does it count? Doesn't the Nia have to be there? Yeah, so I assume when he said to his wife, I divorce you, he meant divorce, didn't he? One minute self ta'ilat. If someone has money on his underwear, I answer that one. Lol, uh, grasshopper 65 and fried fries. <laughs> Extra crispy. Roasted crickets. Astad, hal sarasir. Naam, naam. Naam, al jarad. You call him Jarad. Sarasir had a shayakhar. Sarsur. Sarsur had a cockroach. Naam. Wa locust. Yani Jarad. Sarasir had a shayakhar. Had a laya juz akluhu in the Hanafiya. Salamu alaikum. I husayna. Ahlan wa sahlan, my brother. How are you keeping? No. Tiddi biryani. Tiddi. Oh, yeah. In Urdu, you call it Tiddi, don't you? Tiddi. Yeah. I forgot. I forgot that word, you know. That's like Tiddi. That's a nice one, that is. Junti, I like the word Junti as well. I remember in Madrasa when I first heard the word Junti. I thought, whoa, that's a good word. <laughs> sounds so cool. Junti. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound like ant, ant, like boring three letters. Come on, man. Ant. Junti. Uh, so in uh, Pakistan, you can't get anything done if you don't lie. You can't not uh, never get your clothes stitched by your <laughs> uh lower your gaze or I'll walk with a balaclava. <laughs> The way I practice it is just by making my own sentences in active voice and my full be here study and then by putting uh yes, my brother Yusha, you can email me them, inshallah. Uh Ali Samir, uh how far do you take badal? Like if someone says Hada li Muhammad and I reply with Muhammadun fil masjid alan, can I say uh Muhammadin? Uh no, you can't say that. No, because it's a different sentence. You can't use the badal in different sentences. Uh, sorry, I meant as a joke. Oh, as a joke, yeah. Then it won't, it won't be classed because I mean, if it's said as a joke, that the Prophet Sallallahu said that lying is so divorcing a woman as a joke also will count. So yeah, it'll count. I'm a bit of faqih myself. <laughs> we say kiri, kiri. Ah, uh. yeah. What do you say in Pashto? What do we say in Pashto? What does my mom say? Uh, mege. We say mege. Mege. It's like a generic word we have for love insects. I think isn't like in Urdu, kire, like a maggot. Kira. You you know what will be funny. Okay, for ta'muha samet an al-magariba fi am al-wajat akal al-jarad. Ah, naam. Uh, 
يعني طعمها مثل الحمص حمص المشوي المقلي لاين اب كريكيتس اون يور تي كوبل لايك ليمونز از ا جود ايديا ذات اي لايك ذات Yeah, I can maybe like I can do like a trick or something. Yeah, like throw it in the air, catch it in my mouth. Kira is generally for all insects. Yeah, Kira is for all insects. Isn't it? Yeah. What's for maggots? What do you call maggots in Urdu? Says friend asked if her money is haram. She makes money from promotions on Insta by using makeup brands, which she wears and shows people. Sometimes her aura is shown with clothing brands. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Best for her to ask a scholar herself. Yeah, best for her to ask us on the road. Then I don't like answering people's questions for on behalf of other people who it's like things are taken out of context. You don't know the situation, etc. So best for her to ask. I haven't actually seen maggots here. Oh, ajib! Just leave some meat in the ground. Come back after two weeks and you'll see some maggots. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys. My time is up. Jazakumullah khair. My one hour is up. Do you guys like the black? Black color. The only problem with black color is, can you see like dandruff there? Yeah, like some dandruff here yeah, from my beard. Yeah, the white hairs in my beard. Got some dandruff in there. So I'm going to do this. All dandruff falls down. I don't know, past few days I've been having a lot of dandruff. Do you guys get that in, in the autumn, in the autumn season? Uh... I was reading, uh, yeah, it's genetic term, but a generic term, but we use it for ants. I was reading Shar ibn Aqil and in the footnotes of the great Lughawi, Muhyuddin Abdul Hamid, he said the Kufis didn't consider the existence of Fi'l Amr, rather it's from Fi'l Mudariyah. That's right. Ta'ir la tusib minhum ahadan illa halak. The bird does not hit. No, not the bird. Yeah, A bird. طائر لا تصيب أحدا. Is that the full 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 statement? طائر لا تصيب أحدا إلا هلكه. And the bird does not hit any one of them except that he perishes. Can you say منهم is متعلق to أحد منهم. So طائر لا تصيب لا لا تصيب أحدا منهم. Yeah. Oh yeah. So it would originally be like this. So منهم is متعلق to Thabitan, which then becomes a hal muqaddam of ahad. Because basically you can't have jar majru muta'alik to a jamid word. It has to be muta'alik to hal and then it goes back. If it was la tusibu ahadan minhum, then jar majru here could be muta'alik to ahad directly. You know, you should use thabit anyway. Ahadan thabitan minhum. But when you bring minhum forward, then the minhum has to become a hal muqaddam. It's just like a little technicality. Illa halaka. What's your favorite crickets, grasshoppers, or locust? I've never thought about that, you know. I mean, I googled it. They all seem to come from the same family. So I think I'm going to have to now, I was saying, I think I'm going to have to take you on that, uh, up on that one. And I'm going to have to have like three plates. Yeah. Crickets, grasshoppers, locusts, and then tell you. How would your family react in Pakistan if they saw you eating that? They see me. <laughs> they think I'm crazy. But you know you gotta do things for 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 you guys for YouTube. Maybe do a foodie review. I'll check Amazon has spice grasshoppers. Egypt and Tajarib al Halzun la 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 al Iyadu billah. Now al Halzun shay. يعني حتى أنا إذا رأيت أحد يأكل يعني يعني أشعر بالقيء. So there are no insect foods here yet. Alhamdulillah for the one who wants to eat insects when Allah has allowed it. That's true. Good one. Yeah, but then you know Allah has made those as well. So Allah has made the insects and He's made the chicken as well. So the way I can practice it is just by making my own sentences. That's right. Yes, you shot. Uh Zorlion. <laughs> Wonder if they are super high in nutrients. They obviously are, you know, these insects, look how high they can jump. So they must have loads of proteins and, and nutrients inside of them. Anyway, guys, Jazakumullah khair. I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys have a wonderful time tomorrow, inshallah. Make sure you tune in for QA the evening. And uh, uh, you know, may Allah keep you guys safe. Adhakallah sinnak. Shukran wa adhakallah sinnak even.
يعني كيف الرد؟ اضحك الله سنك كيف الرد؟ كيف يكون الرد؟ دعاز ان شاء الله you guys make dua for me I'm gonna make dua for you we're gonna have this dua relationship <laughs> alright guys take care ان شاء الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته